Before we move on to the next phase of our tour, I'd like to show you how to resize your paper. If you have a large white background right now, what's happening is that the app is showing you a close up of your paper. So if you take your two fingers, touch your screen and pull your fingers together like you're pinching them, you will shrink the paper on the panel and now you can actually see the gray desktop. You can rotate this if you like, you can make it vertical or horizontal. I am going to keep mine vertical. All right, so what we're talking about next is the double puck is what it's called. These two circles on the left hand side, you can move those by touching the space in between the two circles. And the purpose of this little panel is to let you know the size of your current brush and the color of the ink. We can change the size. We already went over that, but to change the color of the ink, we have not talked about. You can touch the circle. Right now I touched the black circle. The panel that pops up is the color wheel. You can go around the outside edge of the color wheel and you can change the color of your ink to anything that you like. But for our purposes, for the beginning of this project, we're going to have everything outlined in black. So that means that around the outside ring, you can place your circle anywhere, it really won't matter. But inside of the diamond, you want to place the circle at the very bottom point. That will give us black ink. To release the color wheel, you tap the circle on the bottom part of the puck. All right, so now we have our color and we have our technical pen. Let's talk about the toolbar at the top. As you can see, there are 15 different icons. We are only going to be using six of those. The one on the top left is the files icon or file button. If you touch the three dots with the three lines, you receive this little panel where it says new sketch, gallery, share, and preferences. Next to that is the undo icon. Then the redo icon, we really haven't done anything yet to undo or redo, so it's not doing anything. Um, let me give you an example. So if I draw on the page, I can hit undo and then I can hit redo, right? Let's undo it for now. The next one, two, three, four, five. The next five we're going to skip for now and we are going to go to the shapes icon. There are three inside of here that you can use. Straight line, circle, and rectangle. I said circle, it says oval, it's the same thing. <laughs> Let's start with a line. So I'd like you to try maybe two of each of these. So we're going to press and drag and we'll go the other direction. Press and drag. Now we'll do a circle or oval. Press your finger on your page, then release. Press your finger on the page again, and then release. Now let's try a couple of squares or rectangles. They can overlap. It really doesn't matter. Okay, so now we know that we can do a few things with these shapes. The next icon is the freeform shape or free draw. And what we will be using is, actually we'll be using this one a lot. You can draw anything with that one. You can just randomly draw some shapes on this page. The next one is a photograph. That is for us to insert pictures. To insert the photo, you can go to Anything that you have in your camera roll, I'm going to go with a student drawing because that is the next phase of what we're doing. 
you're going to be inserting your sketch into this app. And so I'm going to, I'll just put it down here, down below. All right, let's say that I'm done. If you notice, I was pulling my fingers apart to make it bigger, pushing my fingers together to make it smaller, using two fingers to raise it up above, tilt it, lower it, all of those different directions. When I'm happy with where it's located, I can press the word done, and now it stays in its place. Let's stop here and give you a chance to try these things out.